मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस स्टडी सम मेथड्स यूज इन सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट और ट्रीटमेंट द फर्स्ट वन इज बायोमिथेनेशन और फॉर्मेशन ऑफ बायो गैस और गोबर गैस सो वॉट इज डन हियर इज द किचन वेस्ट और द एग्रीकल्चरल वेस्ट मोस्टली द काउडंग विच कंटेन द अन एरोबिक बैक्टेरिया इज टेकन समटाइम्स इवन द किचन वेस्ट लाइक फिश बोन्स कैन ऑल्सो बी टेकन and it is mixed with adequate quantity of water there should be no air coming in contact with this mixture and it should be thin so that the anaerobic bacteria can move freely now when this is done it is passed into a chamber which is closed there is no air contact the temperature is maintained mostly 35 degree centigrade ideal temperature for biomethanation because if it is high then it will kill the bacteria and if it is low it will also uh, the slows down the process so when biogas is produced it is slowly taken into another chamber from where it is connected to the pipeline which leads to your kitchen which can be used for uh, cooking your cooking or also it can be used for electricity generation now this biogas is just not methane is just 65% of methane along with other gases like um hydrogen hydrogen sulfide which gives you a uh, bad smell also it contains water vapor carbon dioxide etc now coming to the next one is bioremediation bioremediation is a process of using microbes or bacteria to take repair the damage what is created to the environment for examples in case of oil spills it is a uh, uh, two type of bacteria can be put together and used like oil degrading bacteria or microorganisms are used in case of oil spills now in case of food processing units like leather uh, industries or other industries paper mills etc microbes are used in the effluent treatment plant as we have done it earlier so it degrades the inorganic matter into something which is not toxic to the environment now coming to the next method is composting in composting it can be aerobic or anaerobic the waste is taken it is filled uh, over that a uh, soil is uh, put a layer of soil and time is given for it to degrade by itself bacteria will degrade or uh, break down the waste and in this case the volume is reduced uh, very much at the same time pathogens are also destroyed so it is it can be aerobic or anaerobic and the end product which is formed is rich in the minerals npk that is nitrogen phosphorus and potassium also it increases uh, the water holding compo- uh, water holding capacity of the soil is increased by this humus or compost or it can be also called as manure so this is very rich fertilizer you can say also provides elements like uh, magnesium copper to the plants and it also prevents soil erosion now when this composting is done using earthworms the same thing is called vermi composting and here because the earthworm as you all know that earthworm is called a farmer's friend so because of their burrowing activity and taking in of the soil the bacteria in the gut region of the earthworm will change it into a very fertile uh, material which uh, is given out through the by the earthworms into the soil and because of the burrowing activity what happens is the soil is also getting aerated so there is processing of the waste as well as processing of the soil in this method so vermi composting helps because the earthworms reproduce very fast there are millions of uh, cocoons in the soil so soon they will take over the uh, uh, vermi uh, composting of the the solid waste as well as the soil so it is a very uh, good method as regarding the 
waste treatment is concerned it is eco all these are eco friendly they are environmental friendly because they don't uh, harm the environment they are less expensive than it is uh, this at least is less expensive than other methods then beneficial in a long run and makes the soil fertile so all these also take care of the disease causing germs and make the environment more uh, better than before now coming to what can be done to how this can be done and why this is required the need for uh, the solid waste management the first thing is our natural resources are fast depleting second it generates uh, less waste when these are used the waste is reduced drastically and also reduces pollution and also puts less stress on our natural resources which are still there now what can be done what are the strategies to do so to reduce this waste the strategies can be right you can start from home by just uh, putting our waste into dry and wet bins we can start it at the local level at our homes so that it goes to the proper places and uh, there is no problem at the recycling level when it is already done first now how to re reuse waste the next sub topic is how to reuse waste so this is the strategies to reuse waste by following the 3 r's the 3 r's everyone knows it is reduce recycle and reuse so how we can reduce first thing is don't buy things what are Uh, not required sometimes we go to the market or the malls and we have some uh, discount like if you buy one you get two free or if you uh, uh, just uh, it's actually for the same price they do it in such a way that you feel like buying it so all this uh, work it is commercial market so as we go to the market our demands are more so when you buy things what happens is if we buy just a shirt there is more of waste around it covering it or even uh, when you buy a chocolate there are so many wrappers around it so that is just waste so buy things only when you need earlier what we used to do is if a small um, if a dress or a shirt has a just torn Uh, part it was stitched by our mothers but we are not following it so we have to actually go back to that type of thing because this schemes and all are only to make money and as as we go to the market we really feel like buying it so just buy in case you are in need don't buy and just keep it as a uh, waste now second thing is you can always use uh, the eco friendly products which will not trouble the environment for example uh, if you go to a, uh, some weddings etc even in uh, some some people use banana leaves as plates now we can always use earthenware or the glass bottles instead of the plastic ones which we use and throw uh, again now use other alternatives like bioplastics now bioplastics use is coming under bioremediation bioplastics are made by using cornstarch or lactic acid and when it is used and thrown into the environment they are biodegradable by the bacteria so these type of things can slowly reduce the waste in the environment <coughs> now you can always use a cloth bag when you go to the market so you don't have to get every time you go to the market you don't have to bring a plastic bag with you back home next is you can always like uh, when you buy a new dress it's new so you are wearing it for some occasions then you can wear it for then everyone wears it for everyday use later on what happens is we can use it if the cloth is good to make some small pieces and wipe our tables or kitchen 
so that it is used and it's not just thrown out or you can always give them in, if they are in good condition to the poor now make compost and biogas at home all these is in the rural areas people can make the compost uh, in the buildings where you stay just a small pit is required to put your kitchen waste and just a soil cover nothing else then the next thing is how we can reuse reuse means whenever we bring jam pickles and all glass bottles can be washed well and can be used for storing our kitchen items sometimes we use today's uh, new uh, problem is so many masks are uh, being thrown into the water bodies they are just uh, uh, there's a new uh, problem because we are using mask now use washable masks so this will not uh, create a problem similarly with the baby wear that is the nappies and all you have to use the cloth ones because the bio they are not biodegradable the market ones and it causes a lot of problems to the um, who are taking the waste the, now there is another thing that is newspapers can be recycled some things can be recycled one more thing what we used to do as children was we used to uh, at the end of the year we used to take all our notebooks and uh, remove the pages which are blank which are not used and put them together and give for binding now this was a really a good rough makes a good rough book for the next year so today what we are doing we are just throwing the books out every year so children have to learn you all have to learn to use these ways so it is really putting less less pressure on our trees which are used to make more paper etc now coming to the next one that is the recycling now recycling is very important to produce the same using the same um, items in a different way recycle can be done two ways one is downcycle if you do something out of the waste and if it is of no use to you if you just keep it at home and it gathers dust it is of no use no use of this type of recycling when you are recycling things it has to be for your use in the in some other way so it this is called upcycle so for example there is a uh, some masterpiece made out of waste uh, and used for something again so it is like re reprocessing of the same uh, waste products uh, in a new way now what can be re recycled one is cloth then glass material glass plastic then you can also recycle tetra packs or even your lace packets can be recycled and it is a raw material in your jackets which you wear polyester jackets now the most important thing is for recycling you need to segregate waste at the source all biodegradable and uh, the solid waste should not go to that place because it is very difficult for them to um, separate it at that point now there is another problem that is about e waste handling e waste is a problem because it is not biodegradable all your um, mobiles keyboards uh, pc us then uh, cd players video uh, videos all this uh, video cassettes then printers even mics to play all these come under e waste so for e waste there is a special unit of recycling there is one Pra uh, prakruti recycling plant in bangalore which is tackling the e waste otherwise what happens is there are places where the the rag pickers take the e waste and give it to them they handle it they open up the computers and all and there is very toxic substances inside which are harmful for the people who are working which uh, they can reassemble the computers and all so it's very harmful for the person who is tackling the e waste with the fire they change it uh, melt it and all it's very bad smoke so e waste should be tackled very well uh, reassembling can be done but in a proper way so this much is with this uh, this topic is over so uh, the notes will be sent to you so go through them carefully and 
any doubts you can ask thank you